Well, welcome back to another video. It's good to be back out and I've came down to the coast today. I've came to a place called Pacific Spirit Regional Park. Now, the beginning of the park here, there is some forest land. Uh, there's plenty of trails in there, um, but I wanted to make my way to the coast first. Now, I am sheltering at the moment because when I got here, it absolutely chucked it down with rain. It is forecast rain for pretty much the uh, best part of the weekend. But looked at the weather app last night and there is going to be a period where it's going to be at least a couple of hours uh, without any rain. So I wanted to get down here. I've never been here before to explore and I want to see what I can come across. See if I can come across some nice abstract shots. You'll remember in past videos I went down to Stanley Park and I found those logs on the beach and some nice interesting shots. So it really is surprising what you can come across. Now, the forest is beautiful. I might take a look through the forest later on. Uh, there's not too many interesting trees. They all look pretty much the same, but there's a couple of old growth trees in there. Uh, one of them's over 400 years old, so I might see if I can come across that. But it is raining, so I'm just taking shelter here till I can get out with the camera and find some shots. Now, I am trying out my new audio setup. I tried it for the first time on Vancouver Island and I'm really pleased with it. So I'm gonna to get to have another go with that today and mention it to you guys, because I didn't mention it in my last video. So I've moved on from wireless. I was getting too many issues when I was going back to post editing videos. You know, sometimes your audio would cut out if you turned away from the camera sometimes you got interfering so a wireless was just too unreliable you know there's nothing worse than doing a full day shoot and getting back realizing that part of your audio hasn't came out right so the system i've gone for now i've gone for tentacle sync i've got the tentacle sync track e and the tentacle sync sync keys now the sync keys attached to my camera and they generate time code uh, on my cameras and i've got the track e which records all my audio so what I then do when I get back to post, the Tentacle Sync uh, actually come with an app, so Tentacle Sync Studio, and I simply drag me audio files, drag me video files into that, and at the click of a button, it just puts it all in order in one file, and everything, all my talk and everything's synced up, so it's really easy to use. And then I export the XML file, and when I go to my editing suite, I simply import that XML file. It brings it onto my timeline as one clip, and that's it, it's job done. It's so simple to use, so I'm really pleased to be getting to grips with it. I can also do multi-cameras, because I've got two sync keys, so I can attach two cameras at the same time, and it, they're both gonna be recording the same audio, so I can do multi-cam shots and play about with it and just get creative. So that was the reason for going for the tentacle sync. So another reason for coming to the coast, because we have had rain, you'll notice that all the logs, they're all damp, they're all wet, some of them are shiny, but they reveal some really nice patterns. I said in my last video when I was down at the coast, when you go to the coast and the logs are all dry, you lose all those textures and shapes. So a bit of moisture there really highlights and makes things stand out and makes compositions and intimate scenes uh, easier to look for so that's what I'm looking for now Pacific Reg now Pacific Regional uh, Park it is on the coastline here and you're probably seeing there was a sign I passed on the way in uh, clothes are optional now further up there's a beach called Wreck Beach it's a nudist beach uh, so I want to make sure that I stay away from Wreck Beach because believe it or not you get people down there in all weathers. So I'm going in that, uh, this direction with my clothes on. Uh, so let's venture up this course, see if we can come across, see if we can grab some images. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what I can find on the beach. It's quite exciting just to look for those little vignettes on the sides of logs and turn trees.
So I've came across uh, a shot on the side of this upturned log. There's loads of interest there and because we've got that moisture from above it's started to soak down into the wood but you've got the bottom areas here which is still dry so they're a lot lighter so there's a lot of contrast there. there's a lot of patterns there's a lot of interesting shapes because we've had that moisture we've had that rainfall we've got the lovely darker browns drifting into the lighter browns and then it, obviously where it gets dry it's a lot lighter and it really shows off these patterns these scaly patterns on the side of the bark and then we've got this sweeping interest that comes up to the top right so that's the area of interest that really stands out to us 100 mil with the 100 to 400 the 100 to 400 g mass is brilliant for this type of stuff i really have fallen in love with this lens when it comes to doing uh, abstract shots it works out well now you'll remember on vancouver island i went to nymph falls and the waterfalls are beautiful but the only way to photograph them really was just to pick out little vignettes and this is going to work out pretty much the same so i'm going to be shooting this shot at f16 really getting in close with that detail really making it stand out and i'm actually going to take two shots because as it gets further up to the right hand top corner there is indentation so I want to make sure that I grab all that detail and capture it so it just goes to show you know you've got all this coastline with these logs that have came in and they're all washed up on the, the shore and it's not particularly attractive but if you're looking close look for them finer details you can come up with some pretty cool shots so I'm going to get back get this shot and I hope you like it an awkward position to talk to you for this one uh, I'm sticking with this upturned tree trunk what a great tree trunk this really is now the main thing that grabbed me attention with the side of this bark was all the interest in the center got these swirly patterns We've got the different textures different shades of bark uh, because we have got that moisture that's been drawn so far into this tree trunk got some nice browns there because there's cracks in the bark there's actually leading lines coming in from the top corner, the bottom corner. So the attractor viewer's attention to the center of the image and that's where the main interest is. And that's what I've said to you. Really stand back and take in and photograph what will grab your attention. Now, because the wood is starting to dry out, I wanna get on, get this shot and make my way a bit further up the course. So I'll put this image on the screen above and I hope you like it.
you probably be able to see I've got a bit of a sweat on now what I done was I made it back onto the trail and followed this coast line and I followed the coast line as far as I could now the only thing is when you get further up it got really messy uh, because this part of the forest it's on the edge of the coast here it's been battered by those winds so it's quite dangerous actually there's a lot of fallen trees and the trail that I made it up to there was fallen trees and you couldn't get any further up the trail so that's how bad it was it was quite a walk um, so a long way for not a lot but at least I've been there now I've adventured in that area and that's what you've got to do you've got to explore you don't always come across things so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to have a bit of a break and then I'm going to make my way back the way I came I've already made my way halfway back up and go in the other direction just to see if I can find another subject to photograph and get another couple of images uh, it would be nice so we'll just have to see cross our fingers now it has been a lot sunnier so that's be, that's made it harder for the walk that I've just done uh, but it's got a lot more overcast like I said earlier on it's gonna rain tomorrow later on today so this could be the weather starting to turn now so I'll have a quick break make my way back up that trail and see if we can find something else I'm back up from where I was earlier. Now I've actually hiked two kilometers in the opposite direction, in and out the forest, looking for the interest on the beach because the forest itself, it's really messy. There's a lot of deadfall because it's the edge of the forest. Now where they need to be to get into the trails is actually at the opposite side. So that's somewhere I might go next time and explore. But I've explored this part of the coastline today and I've really enjoyed it. It's been hard work, I'm not gonna lie. We've got a couple of images and that's what it's about. At least I got a couple. Sometimes you don't get any, but I did get a couple of images, so I'm pleased about that. You'll be able to see all these deadfall on the beach. It's all dried out now, so it's lost that contrast. It's lost the colour that it had before. I said to you about when the logs have still got moisture, it reveals compositions and little vignettes on the sides of the logs and on the upturned trees. So because I wasted quite a bit of time exploring in that direction, by the time I've got back up here, everything's more or less dried out. So I am gonna call it an end to today's video. Bit of a short one for you today, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And it's been nice to show you this part of the coast where I've never been before. Um, I'll go to the forest next time probably. You know, I've explored pretty much all this stretch of coastline. Um, there is some coastline further around called Spanish Banks, so I might go there in the future. But for now, I'm going to call it quits and go and get something to eat. So if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it's much appreciated. Leave us a comment below, always nice to read your comments. But from me and Spirit Regional Park, until next time, thanks for watching, bye bye.